Hello there. I'm excited to introduce you to one of the exciting and unique new aspects of this Jones and Bartlett Learning Information Systems Security and Assurance Curriculum, the Virtual Security Cloud Lab Environment. As you know, labs are one of the big challenges of teaching any information system security program. In order to provide all of your students access to lab time so they can get hands-on practice, you typically have to acquire a lot of hardware and software. You've got to invest in a person to maintain and keep the lab upgraded. And then institutions often have the challenge of trying to replicate all of this across multiple campuses. In recognition of these challenges, Jones and Bartlett Learning has created a lab environment in the cloud that was designed specifically to help institutions save time and money associated with setting up these courses. In addition, our labs have the added benefit of enabling institutions to quickly and easily scale courses in order to meet demand. These labs can be configured to launch off of any learning management system. The page you see here lets the students know what lab they are performing in advance. For this video demo, we are going to be working from Book 1, Lab 1, titled Performing Reconnaissance and Probing Using ZenMap GUI. So let me go ahead and launch the actual lab environment. This is not a simulation. You are now actually logged into a student workstation, which is loaded with a range of applications including freeware, general public license software, and a handful of other programs that are necessary to teach information system security. Another great benefit of these labs is that we've gone ahead and taken the burden off of you by actually licensing these other programs. Again, the goal in building this environment was to eliminate the financial burden and the general worry and headaches historically associated with setting up programs such as these. This lab enables students to look at a network to determine if there are any vulnerabilities or holes by performing a reconnaissance using ZenMap GUI. At the outset, I just wanted to mention that I have omitted a few steps for the sake of time, but hopefully this demo will give you a good feel for the student experience. Before we dive into the lab, I want to quickly pull up the lab manual PDF containing the step-by-step -step instruction. Every virtual lab is accompanied by its own guide, providing directions for students and instructors on how to execute the labs. We are now on step one, which is launching the lab environment. In the lab guide, there is a screenshot of this page to let users know they are on the correct screen. Step two prompts us to launch the program called NMAP GUI, so we are going to go ahead and do that. As I've mentioned, these environments are all fully loaded with different types of freeware, general public license software, and a handful of other programs required to teach information system security that we have licensed already in order to save institutions the strain and cost of having to license this software on their own. Step 3 indicates that we should ping or quick scan on a specific IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and type the IP address into this box here. Step 4 directs us to perform an intense scan on that IP address. So I'm going to click on Scan and start the real-time scan of this virtual machine. Click on Scan button. As Step 5 states, this scan may take several minutes to run. You will know when the scan is done when this bar stops filling in. As you can see, it is discovering holes that are open in the port and whether there are any vulnerabilities in the system. Later labs will teach students how to close those holes so that they are not open and not vulnerable. While the scan is running, I'm going to give you some information about what Jones and Bartlett Learning is doing to support these labs. One of the steps that we have taken is to run our labs through focus groups so that if students are struggling, or an instructor has a question about the labs, then there is a knowledge base available to answer the questions. The answers to many of these frequently asked questions are documented and are organized into a file that is located on the desktop. If the students are still uncomfortable or they can't find the answer, then we have a tiered text support system. 
We understand that when you move to a virtual environment, getting your students answers to questions in a timely fashion is imperative, and that is why we are putting this level of thought into our support. Okay, the scan is done. Step 6 indicates that the scan is one of the deliverables that students need to submit in order to demonstrate to the instructor that they have actually accomplished the scan. In order to do this, we are going to use the file menu and we are going to click Save Scan. When we save, we are going to save it on the desktop. To make things easy, we are going to call it My Scan, and then we are going to click Save. Now we're not quite done yet. The XML document is saved in the virtual environment. However, if we were to leave the document here, that would be the equivalent of leaving the document in a physical lab, getting up, and going home for the evening. The chances are very good that the janitor is probably going to come in and clean that lab, sweep up the papers, and throw them away. This virtual environment is similar. Essentially, you must now put the document in your own personal backpack so that you can take it with you. As the steps in the lab guide describe, if you were to click out of the lab and leave this document on the desktop, the document disappears because these labs are set up to provide a clean environment for the next person entering. So we have to do one last important step, which is to transfer this file to our personal workspace. Once this is done, we can print it, put it in an online Dropbox, or email it to the instructor. In order to transfer, you go to Documents and Settings, Administrator, Desktop. There's my scan. So what I'm going to do is to save my scan onto my personal desktop. Then I'm going to close out here, and when I go to my own desk, I find my scan, and we've completed the lab. As you can see, the inclusion of these labs ensures that students are getting both theory and practice in how to be a successful information security expert. In today's information economy, there's a huge demand for skilled IT security professionals. The combination of Jones and Bartlett Learning's authoritative IT security content tailored to industry certifications with these proven, reliable, experiential learning environments make this exciting new curriculum a must-have for institutions providing IT security training. If you have additional questions about these labs, please contact us at 1-800-832-0034 or at info at jblearning.com.